today we're going to take a look at invisible AI and this is some mind blowing technology and you can already see from their website what essentially a hint of what this AI is going to do and a short sentence summary is it is able to track people's movements to see whether or not they are doing the movement correctly, efficiently, and a whole lot of other data metrics that they can use to measure that they can utilize for their own use cases. So let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on. So right off the bat, this is already being used by some major companies we can see right here. We even have Toyota and additional ones, Fuji. And basically, take a look. They have this invisible AI camera right there. And essentially, in short, it tracks real-time human motion, and this allows it to help customers run accurate, reliable, and safe operations according to them. So you're probably thinking, how or what does this even do? Well, let's go ahead and look at some visuals exactly showcasing the use case for this. So here is a video, and this gives a brief background, and essentially you can see here is their little camera that they have going on, and essentially, it is their AI that can track pretty much assembly processes in minutes and doesn't require any overhead. So they're about to show us one of an example with a person that is currently working and essentially you can see all the little circles on the person's body and him putting these parts together. And essentially for this particular example is showcasing the process for that. However, with this AI, one, you can deploy it in five minutes according to them. Two, no recoding is required. And essentially, you can see all of the information right here. And basically, if you have a company that requires a human to do some sort of process with a bunch of different parts, then this might be of heavy interest into you. Now, for most people watching this, you have no idea in terms of, it seems for manufacturing and a lot of manual task, then you might not see interesting in this, but for now we can see automatic face blurring, no facial recognition, no data leaks. So in terms of privacy, it seems that it's supposedly working towards that direction, which a lot of people might have some thoughts regarding whether or not this is good because one, you're being recorded, your literal movements, and two is, I mean, at the end of the day, everyone is already being recorded with security cameras and that nature. However, this seems to be tracking your movements and locking that, and essentially, you're performing based off of the way your body's moving and putting the pieces together. So from the general summaries of what I've seen so far, it looks like it's an AI that's helping you, one, improve the actual process that you're doing. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at another visual. So here is another visual from Fox News. And essentially, what this is looking at is if you are deviating from the normal process. So for this particular example, it is a person, it looks like to me, they're painting a portion of this car. and. As of a general thoughts, I am not an expert in the manufacturing of cars, nor do I know the process on which way to apply the paints, etc. However, from an AI standpoint and from an efficiency product use, and obviously I'm sure for this particular thing, which is a car, that you don't wanna just go crazy and start spraying a bunch of different angles. And ideally, you'd most likely want to have it in a nice, efficient, and smooth manner. And I can see this already, and this is just one example, but just pretend you're in a completely different industry. The ones that I've seen so far on the website are mainly in the manufacturing, which requires a lot of building of something. But imagine you're in fast food, and or you are a chef, and you're cooking, and you might use too many rotations on the food. For example, you're stir frying some vegetables, and ideally you wanna have a nice crisp char on it or something, for example. Imagine we could have an AI where it sees an example image of something, and then it knows exactly the temperature, the amount of stirs you need to do to mix the food, and or to get the exact 
same thing. And then you could extrapolate this to infinite amount of industries that requires a particular type of motion and or movement step-by-step -step process to gather a particular result. So let's go back to the website and see some more examples. So here is another visual and this is covering that video we saw earlier. And as you can see, it showcases steps one through nine. And essentially it showcases pick two cushions and then number two plays cushion one, number three plays cushion two. And from my understanding, if I'm correct, the red would mean that would be an incorrect movement or maybe that could just be a completely different label. But pretend that let's say that it is an incorrect process. Well, imagine you're training a new hire and someone who's never actually done a particular thing. For example, let's say this, putting this uh, parts together to build this. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like, but let's just pretend it's an air conditioned fan or vent and you want to put it together. Well, if you have no experience, you're most likely going to need somebody to show you physically in person step one, step two, what parts you need. But imagine they have a training video just like this, where it shows exactly the steps you need to take. And I'm sure they have those implemented in some companies, but let's just pretend you watch the training video or you had somebody teach you, and then you go out there and do it yourself. And this camera, this AI tracks you and realizes, hey, you did something wrong. And then depending on the background, how this works, you could immediately get feedback and see exactly how it is fixed and or how to correct your mistake. And we can see performance, 98% real time air detection rate. So from here, it looks like it is super accurate with a 2% seems like it's missing from a full 100% correction rate. Also, they have 16 plus hours saved in root cause analysis and 99% timing accuracy for T and M studies. So essentially time and motion studies and those without any manual data collection. So here is just another image and a person is working on a car as well. So from at least a lot of the examples I've seen, it seems to be working towards the car manufacturing process, but I'm sure there's many other use cases. But for this example, just pretend you have to do a particular set of tasks in order to make sure that you don't mess anything up. And from the videos I've seen in particular, let's say car manufacturing, it seems that most of these things are moving on a some sort of conveyor or belts. And imagine if you're too slow, maybe not too efficient, or essentially you forget something next thing you know it, the person in the next section of you will end up lacking behind because they cannot do their job properly. So this is also some other potential ways to make life better and more efficient in this particular industry. And here we can see another visual example how this could work out. And essentially, looks like two guys in the top left are working on some sort of engine. If I'm wrong, feel free to comment below. But essentially, the main focus here is their joints of the human body and also their face. And particularly, it looks like the joints and the limbs in the position that they're at. So from this particular example, we can see some of the data points and the colors. And essentially from just looking at this, I can't speak too much on what exactly it is tracking, but from what it looks like to me is one is whether or not they are working on the correct parts and also to the body positioning. For this particular example, I'm not an expert in at least particular manufacturing engine pieces. So I can't really comment too much regarding the proper stance and posture. However, what I can say is this type of AI technology for, for example, fitness, going to the gym. I've seen some AI programs already out there and this kind of reminds me of something similar where essentially a lot of people might be new to the gym. They've never worked out before, never touched certain weights and they might not know the correct form on how to do a squat or a bench press. And AI technology, which I'm sure there's already stuff out there, but just from general experience and seeing how this kind of looks similar to something like that, I could see that being a big deal because then you could clearly analyze, see somebody's movements and right away know whether or not that is a normal thing or if it stands out and essentially is an outlier. And then they can see from the data, okay, maybe they should put their arm here or their feet should be here maybe their posture doesn't look proper and again this is just stuff for 
at least right now, seems to be big companies and seeing their labor force. And I can see already some pros and some cons. Definitely I can share and discuss this in the comments. But for right now, this was a cool little overview. I wanted to share with you to showcase some cool AI technology in the space. If you do have any other cool companies, ideas out there, definitely share them in the comments below and like and subscribe.